Well, greetings, YouTube. We're kind of doing a special edition of performance reviews here because I'm in my hotel room and a friend of mine has lent me his Hyla and we vacuumed the hotel room and that was all cool. But I wanted to just talk about what a Hyla is because it's a very, very uh, rare vacuum. Uh, they don't sell a lot of them and they're really cool and they're really well made. And this is a pretty new one. So uh, if you're to sum it up, it's a it's a German rainbow, uh, for the most part, or a, a rainbow from Europe. I think the motor might be made in Italy. Um, so first of all, you can see that it is glowing. It's got its own sort of lights and all that stuff. So that, that's kind of cool. It does have a little bit more water than I would like. Uh, about the same as a rainbow, so that does add some heft to the wind machine. Uh, but it's pretty much a simple machine in how it works. You have tool storage on the tray, the tray is removable, everything's really intuitive. Um, these come with two hoses, actually. Um, so there's that, you have simple on. On and off button there. And that, I literally haven't done too much with it, but there's the uh, there's the water and the, the bubbler goes in there and it's basically a giant bong in there. And then the way the rest of this works is this is the separator. Now this separator is real unique because it looks like it's one piece but it's actually sandwiched like layers up and down there. Uh, it's super efficient in separating. We could turn it upside down if you wanted to, but uh, I really don't want to. Uh, and it ended badly for me last time I tried to do a demo like that for you guys. So that's that's what the Hyla is there. Now the other thing is Hyla has pimped out their power head. Uh, so this is a Visselwerk uh, EBK340 style. Uh, but you're going to see those LED headlights on there. If you haven't checked out my video on how to service it, you might want to do that as well. Uh, so we're going to turn this on. Those LED lights really project far from there as well. And again, this is borrowed from a collector who uses this pretty often in his house, so it is it is a little on the dirty side, but that's all right. Appreciate being loaned it. And then, of course, you got the, the frog next to the Visselberg logo. So it does say EBK340 LED made in Germany. Kind of a cool thing about that and how that works. Now, if you don't know, they do carpet shampoo with these as well. I don't have the carpet shampooer with me, uh, but if you're lo we're looking at this crevice tool, I mean, sorry, this upholstery tool, that's why it's like that. Um, they have a full straight suction hose without the 110 volt. In fact, really my only thing is this is a wire reinforced hose, which you know I'm not a fan of, uh, but it, they appear to be high quality. I've seen these hoses that are 15 years old and they're just fine, 20 years old, uh, almost 20 now. Uh, the last one I played with and still they're still fine so nice natural hair dusting brush and just your average crevice tool nothing too special in there so the buttons real funky so the button would be we would call a quirk and feature uh, to quote the great Doug DeMero uh, so there's on on off right but it's also off so there's some magic going on as it's got an RF switch in there, which is something you don't see too often in vacuum cleaners, but it's really kind of cool. I'll show you that. You have to excuse that for doing this. So you can see that there's an RF switch right there. Really kind of a cool. So there's two buttons. You have, we have our on. And then we have spare floor carpet. So that's really curious. The other thing I thought was really interesting why we're up here talking about the handle is there's no swivel on here. It adds durability in a way, I guess. There's a door, and it snaps either open. 
closed, so you don't have to hold it, but that's where your port is for your 110. And again, this remote is an RF switch, so it's actually doing some sort of magic inside the cleaner to turn the brush on and off, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of simplifies some things mechanically in terms of hose reliability. Uh, but you do have a battery to replace occasionally, but it's a watch battery, so you're going to maybe do it like five or ten years down the road um, on there. Now the other thing about this is it's on full casters, so it's really maneuverable. Push that around. It's pretty hefty, but it is maneuverable on there as well. Now I don't have a working vacuum gauge with me to test this. I can tell you I have tested it before and uh, it's it's kind of like a Mila or a Rainbow. It's going to get really high up there in the numbers. It's going to be um, about 45 uh, to 55 in terms of its, its working vacuum on there. I'm just going to show how that fires up. You can hear it makes that, that bong sound kind of um, if you've ever heard that before. Uh, so, that's so we're going to do the Hyla pickup test and if you're not familiar with the pickup test it consists of pet hair, flour, breakfast cereal, and cat litter. Carpet makes all the difference when you're doing this. If you have a really low pile of carpet, man, it's easier to clean. Well, as usual, there's nothing really stuck in a Visselvec because uh, of that curved design. Pretty good. That curve design's also in you know some of the simplicities and lint houses and things like that too. Just giving that. And the Hyla frog on the bottom is a nice touch. So I decided we are going to do a pickup test with the power head, even though I've pretty much done this setup before. I thought you would want to see it. Um, so let's take a look and see what the pickup test does. pieces of cat litter. Okay, so that was, and it's normal for stuff to get stuck in the bristles, but not too much. So, not maybe as good as it could have been, um, but it picked it up for there. You saw it suck in that cat litter right away, in that cat fur, um, but it did kind of leave it behind. Now normally once you would do that, you would turn this on, on carpet real quick. Just to clear it out, I'll just see if it did that. I'm just curious about that. So it does, it will self clean itself out if it has stuff stuck in there. Well, that has definitely been an exciting vacuum to take a look at. We don't usually take a look at that being the Hyla.
just a sample of what's in there. Kind of deep down. That rock, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a rock in there. That was actually in the middle. If we track that part in or not, but everything else is. Thanks everybody for watching. Please thumb up this video and subscribe. As always, stay awesome.